Good evening, everybody. We've got some very mild conditions out there for this evening, but it is going to become a little muggy as we continue closer to tomorrow morning. We've got some fog out there planned for tomorrow morning because of that mugginess, but right now conditions are very clear and a little cloudy overhead as well. We've got some calm winds. You can see our sky tracker steady as a rock, giving us a good view of the Odessa skyline currently. And thanks to that sky tracker here, just a really, really nice view outside at those conditions. But switching over here to our satellite and radar, you can see that cloud cover is still rushing in from the south and west, tracking all the way through a lot of the southeastern states and bringing some rain out that way. However, that rain is not connecting to us in West Texas, at least not yet. We actually have a cold front on the way that could bring us some rain chances as we head into the weekend, but unfortunately for the rest of this evening, this cloud cover is about all we can expect for the short term. As we get into Friday evening, that's when I expect those rain chances to begin picking up after a nice muggy start to the day with temperatures down to about 53 degrees by 8 a.m., warming all the way up to highs in the 70s by the afternoon. So really not a bad day. And then to cap it off, we get that cold front to come through overnight tomorrow night into Saturday morning, bringing some very small rain chances, but rain chances nonetheless. It's been a really long time since we've seen any of that rain here in West Texas, and I think it's about time that we do pick up on some of that. Now, as far as conditions tomorrow morning, we could see some of that fog setting up. Again, temperatures will be in the 50s right around sunrise, but low temperatures will actually be coming through very, very early in the morning. Currently, we're at 50 degrees right now, so dropping off a little bit will put us at 49, my forecast low for tomorrow morning. But as we go from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m., notice temperatures actually increase as we head closer to sunrise. This is a very curious setup with a lot of humidity rushing in, giving us temperatures in the 50s on the humid side, but temperatures in the 40s on the drier side of things. So a really interesting setup where that humidity is actually good enough to increase our temperatures without any sunshine. As we do see the sun come up, though, that is going to do a better job of heating us up and we'll actually land in the mid 70s for tomorrow afternoon, followed by here comes our cold front in from the north, really cooling things down for Saturday morning and possibly giving us some of those rain chances. Now we're still running our poll out there, so Make sure to check out our Facebook page so that you can get a link to that poll on yourbasin.com. We've just got too many Christmas icons to choose from, and we need your help. Now, I did put some stats on there kind of jokingly to help you make up your mind with these four choices, but whichever one is the popular choice on our poll is going to be the one that we use for our seven-day. Now, speaking of our seven day, here it is. 74 degrees will be our high temperature tomorrow. We'll pick up only to 51 on Saturday, 49 on Sunday, thanks to that cold front bringing in some cooler air as well as some rain chances. Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday, all with rain chances throughout the weekend. And then we warm up and clear out for the start of next week. So not a bad week, uh, not a bad weekend, I should say, to really catch up on some of those Christmas movies and maybe eat some hot choco. <laughs> yeah, you know, make some cookies. You got because you got to get them ready for Santa. You, you know, got to have the cookies Santa, ready. So yeah, at least those. iron out the recipe. And while you're <laughs> testing it, <laughs> send them in to us so that we can help yes. you. We're the official exactly. the taste testers. We're exactly. the taste testers for Santa. That's, yeah. that's our brand. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Chase. Thanks.